Melibosu, Titerus, neath a broad beach canopy reclining, on the slender oat rehearse your sylvan ditties, I from my sweet fields, and home's familiar bounds, even now depart. Exiled from home am I, while, Titerus, you sit careless in the shade, and, at your call, fair Amaryllis bid the woods resound. Titerus o Melibos, t'was a god vouchsafed this ease to us, for him a god will I deem ever and from my folds a tender lamb oft with its lifeblood shall his altar stain. His gift it is that, as your eyes may see, my kind may roam at large, and I myself play on my shepherd's pipe what songs I will. Melibos I grudge you not the boon, but marvel more, such white confusion fills the countryside. See, sick at heart I drive my she-goats on, and this one, O oh my titteris, scarce can lead, for amid the hazel thicket here but now she dropped her new yin twins on the bare flint, Hope of the flock and ill, I mind me well, which many a time, but for my blinded sense, the thunder stricken oak foretold, off too from hollow trunk the raven's ominous cry. But who this god of yours? Come, Titerus, tell. Titerus the city, Melibos, they call Rome, I, simpleton, deem like this town of ours, where too we shepherds oft are wont to drive the younglings of the flock, so too I knew whelps to resemble dogs and kids their dams, comparing small with great, but this is far above all other cities rears her head as Cyprus above pliant osier towers. Melibos and what so potent cause took you to Rome? Titerus freedom, which, though belated, cast at length her eyes upon the sluggard, when my beard gone whiter fall beneath the barber's blade cast eyes, I say, and, though long tarrying, came, now when, from Galatea's yoke released, I serve but Amaryllis, for I will own, while Galatea reigned over me, I had no hope of freedom, and no thought to save. Though many a victim from my folds went forth, or rich cheese pressed for the unthankful town, never with laden hands returned I home. Melibos I used to wonder, Amaryllis, why you cried to heaven so sadly, and for whom you left the apples hanging on the trees, t'was Titerus was away. Why, Titerus, the very pines, the very water springs, the very vineyards, cried aloud for you. Titerus, what could I do? How else from bonds be freed, or other where find God so nigh to aid? There, Melibos, I saw that youth to whom yearly for twice six days my altars smoke. Their instant answer gave he to my suit, feed, as before, your kind, boys, rear your bulls. Melibos, so in old age, you happy man, your fields will still be yours, and ample for your need. Though, with bare stones o'erspread, the pastures all be choked with rushy mire, your use with young by no strange fodder will be tried, nor hurt through taint contagious of a neighboring flock. Happy old man, who mid familiar streams and hallowed springs, will court the cooling shade. Here, as of old, your neighbor's bordering hedge, that feasts with willow flower the hybla bees, shall oft with gentle murmur lull to sleep, while the leaf dresser beneath some tall rock uplifts his song, nor cease their cooing swarce the wood pigeons that are your heart's delight, nor doves their moaning in the elm tree top. Titterus sooner shall light stags, therefore, feed in air. The seas their fish leave naked on the strand, Germans and Parthians shift their natural bounds, and these the error, those the tigress drink, then from my heart his face and memory fade. Melibos but we far hence, to burning Libya some, some to the Scythian steppes, or thy swift flood, Cretan oaks, now must wend our way, or Britain, from the whole world sundered far. Ah! Shall I ever in aftertime behold my native bounds see many a harvest hence with ravished eyes the lowly turf roof cot where I was king? These fallows, trimmed so fair, some brutal soldier will possess these fields an alien master. Ah! To what a pass has civil discord brought our hapless folk? For such as these, then, were our furrows sown. Now, Melibos, graft your pears, now set your vines in order. Go, once happy flock, my she-goats, go. Never again shall I, stretched in green cave, behold you from afar hang from the bushy rock, my songs are sung, never again will you, with me to tend, on clover flower, or bitter willows, browse. Titterus yet here, this night, you might repose with me, on green leaves pillowed, apples ripe have I, soft chestnuts, and of curdled milk now. And, see, the farm roof chimneys smoke afar, and from the hills the shadows lengthening fall.